Hey, thanks for watching this rock and roaming video. It's morning at the RV, about seven ish. It's freezing outside, which means it's cold in here. We're gonna go check out Buckskin Gulch today via the Wire Pass Trail. Hopefully, if you're considering going to see these, this will show you whether or not it's worth adding to your trip. And hopefully, it'll be a fun adventure for us. So, let's go. When it's cold out, Koma gets to wear his jacket. Tacoma, come here, come here. He loves his jacket. He's a red boy. He looks so good in flannel. And it helps keep him nice and warm. So we brought in our camelback from the truck and it got so cold last night, the line froze. It's not supposed to be like this. Uh, and we need it for hiking it's not gonna warm up. So I hope that we microwave this cause that's what we're gonna do. Buckskin Gold Tree drove about an hour south of Kanab and now we're going down this dirt road and uh, Buckskin Gulch is supposed to be super cool, a really awesome slot canyon, really tall walls. Um, we're going through the Wire Pass Trail into the one part of a Buckskin. Um, Buckskin Gulch is a long hike so this one is going to be about a 5.6 round trip mile hike and um, we're just going to go through Wire Pass and go into a part of Buckskin and they say it's just as beautiful. So we made it to the Wire Pass Trailhead at Buckskin Gulch and we're gonna go hike it now. Uh, the parking lot's busier than I thought it would be as you can see for 10 a.m. when it's like 34 degrees out which means it must be an awesome trail if this many people are also out here. And we're super excited and Koma is very anxious. You can see he just wants to go already. So we're gonna get going. The narrowest we've been in so far. Yeah, I would definitely say this is one of the best slot canyons we've seen so far. How narrow it is, and then the darkness, and just the sheer like magnitude of it is just amazing. I wish it would show how dark it is on the camera. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> crazy how it's like these little like almost like little bug nests looking but it's just the sandstones all worn it's so cool and see down here it's awesome this canyon has so far been like one of the best we've seen I think our new obsession is slot canyons this one is amazing it goes so tall the walls are so smooth it's it's amazing So we pretty much reached a spot that we feel like will be good to turn around. So we're just gonna sit down, eat some lunch that we brought, 
then pack up, turn around, and go back up the trail. We don't have very much food at the RV, so I made pasta sides, and we got mandarin oranges from a can, <laughs> tortilla chips, and ribs. The breakfast of champions. You guys want to see some of Tacoma's favorite tricks? Let's see. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Bang. 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 He is so good. He said, I'm good. Tacoma, sit. Sit. Good boy. Shake. Wow. Good boy. High five. High five. Good boy. Just for the camera, huh? This is my favorite. Can you give me one? Watch this. To come a kiss. Oh, thank you. He's Dude, a good kisser. Kiss. That was a solid kiss. <laughs> I know. He's a good kisser. What else do you want to do? What other trip do you want to do? He's all, um, well, I don't really know anymore, <laughs> but I am wine. <laughs> After a tasty lunch, we're on our way back the way we came, and I'm even more excited to see the canyon the second time. And we extended Koma's leash a little bit with a second leash we brought, so he seems happier about having the extra room to run around. To come as well. No, no, no. I'm the star. He said, I'm the star of the movie. The hike's so much busier now that we're coming back. I wonder what it would have been like if we'd made it here right at sunrise. I wonder if we would have had it all to ourselves. But even being busier, it's still pretty secluded. It's a lot warmer out now, and we're hiking back. And so we're taking off the jackets. We took off Comas too. We're having a great time, a little bit tired. So we're all done with the hike now, and we're a bit tired out. Tacoma's definitely tired out. He was a dream walking back. He wasn't pulling at all. Get in the truck. Good boy. Good boy. He a good boy. He said, I'm a good boy. Mwah. He said that. Just give me the whole bottle. I know. Look at his big ears. Come on, big ear boy. Oh, didn't the bottle's the same thing? Drink your water. No. I'm good. No. What do you guys think of Coma with my hat on? Look at him. Oh, he's such a big boy. He a big boy? <laughs> he said, oh, you bet you, eh? You my, bet you, my, my ears are all warm. <laughs> Give it back. He's like, I'm going to get it. He's like, I'm going to get it. <laughs> he did it. Hey guys, so it's a few days later and I just wanted to record this little segment just to let you know that Buckskin Gulch has been one of the most amazing hikes we've ever done. It is definitely worth adding to your trip. It's definitely worth doing. Uh, the camera couldn't even capture how magnificent it really was. I definitely hope that you add it to your trip. I would say it is a moderate hike. It's not that hard and you can definitely bring kids. Uh, or pretty much anyone who can do a couple mile walk. Awesome. So I really hope that you go check it out and enjoy it. And please let us know in the comments if you've ever been to Buckskin and what you thought of it. <laughs> <laughs>